Hello everyone, welcome to the second video on binding your radios to um, flight, the receiver on the flight controller. Here's a little flight controller with the receiver on it, just there. You can see the copper, copper ready coloured antenna. Uh, this is a Radio Master Zorro, I'll turn it on. So long hold, the haptic will vibrate like that. Make sure your throttle's low and all switches, all switches up and back. Okay, throttle warning, so throttle come down low, and we're right to go. Main controls are uh, this wheel here, which is a scroll wheel, and also you click it down to select things. Here we go, click. We've got MDL for model. Um, over here, there's a system button, if I want to get into the system settings on the radio. So that's to do with my, my actual model, or aircraft, or drone that I'm configuring. But that's to do with the settings on the radio, this radio itself. I've got a return button there, which is like an exit button, it takes you backwards. Page forward, which is that direction. Page backwards, which is that direction. Okay, page forward, you, you advance forward and I'll show you that. Okay, so, uh, at the moment I've got this model here is called test. To select a new model, I push the wheel down, just here. Uh, no, I don't. I push MDL down, model, long hold, and you can see all my models there. So, um, and then I scroll. So if I want to select model number one, I scroll up to it, press this down, long hold. So again, long hold, and then short hold to select it. Notice the asterisk beside the model to indicate that it's selected. I want to come down and select this model here, model number six. Incidentally, there's 60 models available. 60 different aircraft or drones or robots or whatever available you fit this radio I'm coming down to test long hold short hold okay now we want a page across so I come down to here page I'm just going to move this camera up a little bit so you see a bit more into it okay, so page which is this one page across so I'm on screen two page backwards this one you'll see it go to screen one and there's 12 screens available here so page across and I want to go to this first setup screen and this is for binding uh, this is for naming our model first of all so this model is called test uh, I would scroll to select whatever I want here there's tests so click and you can name it like as I said you with your initials if your name was Frank Jones you'd call it for you guys, for your drones, just FS and then underscore drone, okay? Um, but I've already named it test. Uh, you return to go backwards and then backwards again. I want to go back into it again, so MDL for model. And then page forward, to page two. I'm going to, to scroll down, I'm going to go looking for binding. I got lots of different things here I could do. Timers that I could have countdown timers to tell me how much time I got left. Um, I'm looking for anything to do with R internal and external RF. So we're coming down, coming down, coming down, and I can't find it. Did I come past it? There it is. External RF. And internal RF just there so this Zorro is a multi-protocol radio it talks multiple different languages we're binding to this particular flight controllers receiver which is an FR sky receiver um, and the protocol we're using is multi and it's no yeah no, it's internal RF is multi and it is the, if I click on Fly Sky, it is FR Sky X. I think this doesn't work. No, I have to find out what it is. But internal RF, multi FR Sky X. Click, it should be a D16 protocol. And then we just have a look that all those are set like that. And then come down to the bind button, BND. I'll activate that 
by pressing down on the scroll wheel. But let's just check. I've got internal RF, because the RF is radio frequency. That module is inside this particular radio. Check that you got those settings. Scroll across to bind to BND. Now we come across here to our flight controller. Apply power. And it should start blinking, right, to indicate that I haven't bound to it. I hold the, this outside button down for three seconds. See there's two buttons side by side, it's the outside one. Hold it down for three seconds. It should go solid state. Like that. Come over to my radio, click on bind, BND, and it'll start chirping. You can see the screen comes up with channel 1 to 8 telemetry on. I want to select that, so just push down the scroll wheel again. And there it is chirping. And I'm going to stop the video. That's not the right one. Actually, no, that's fine. I'm going to disconnect. Reconnect. Telemetry lost. Yep. So it, it told me that it, it actually connected. And then when I pull off power to the USB, like this, it actually told me that I lost telemetry. So which was telling me that it made a connection. Connect power. I've got a solid telemetry state. Recovered. And there it is. I've got telemetry. So the radio and the flight controller are talking to each other. The flight controller is actually sending telemetry data back to the radio. Okay, all, all good. And what that means is now, I'm going to escape out of that, which is return, RTN. And I've got a connection there. I'm now going to show you on beta flight what that looks like just here. I've got beta flight up. Just there. On the screen, let me just adjust this so that it's happy. I've got my radio just here. I've got version 10.0.0, .0, I believe. I do. I'm on COM 11, just there. 115200 board, BAUD. Connect. Check my little flight control is happy. Yep, move it around. And we go down to receiver, and guess what? There it is. Read them and weep. There's my, what are they? What kind of values? PWM. See it says 994? That's close to 1000, which is one millisecond. Okay, there's my pitch channels. There's my yaw channel coming in. There's my throttle channel. Don't say anything, Cadence. And there's my throttle mapping. I'm on AETR. So A is aileron, coming in on the aileron channel. There's my elevator, coming in on channel 2. Throttle's on channel 3. R is rudder on channel 4. And I've got four other channels, because I've got eight, eight channels in total. So I could use any of these as an auxiliary channel to put my LED lights on, or my beeper, or whatever. How cool is that? So I'm looking what other channels I've got here. Okay, I'll have to set those up. I'm going to come down to modes over to the left here. And I'll have to specify what my AUX channel will be. But that's another video. So I'll leave that with you on how to bind that. Okay, so that's binding the Zorro. And my other, other video shows you how to bind the X-Lights. Cheers, people.